Hi, this is James from Optical Mirror. Today, I'm going to tell you how to choose the best first surface mirror for your project. What it comes down to is flatness and durability. One of the great things about getting a glass front surface mirror is the highly durable coating, which is protected initially under a blue netto laminate. You'll need to use your fingernail and peel back the laminate, exposing the mirror surface underneath. Now this is especially useful for if you're going to be working with the material and you don't want to expose that more delicate mirror surface until the very end when you're ready to use it. The other thing is you can actually save the protective laminate. So even if you fully take it off, you can always reapply it temporarily until you're ready keeping fingerprints and dust off the surface. That'll keep your mirror, you know, as absolute high grade as possible. Now, one of the uh, things that you need to realize about a front surface mirror is the thickness is crucial. The quarter inch thickness is called a selective double flat. So typically it's twice as flat as regular float glass. The way that glass is manufactured it's pulled along a long conveyor in big stock sheets. And then at the end of the process, they test the glass, or they have tested the glass in the past to figure out what the flattest area of the glass will be. So they scan the surface and they locate a 32 by 50 inch segment, and that's their, the flattest area which they cut. They then apply the enhanced aluminum coating to it. The reason I say enhanced is because aluminum by itself would tarnish very easily and scratch right off. So they apply something called a dielectric coating on top of the aluminum and that makes it highly durable, much easier to clean and won't tarnish. So the difference between a quarter inch and an eighth inch and even thinner glass is think about how glass would be pulled on a conveyor and manufacture it, the thicker the glass, the flatter it's gonna be when it cools. So the quarter inch is going to be your flattest of the options. Now if you need something even higher grade, even flatter, such as you're using it at a greater than 15X magnification, you'll wanna go with our quarter wave or eighth wave glass. And that's not to be confused with a quarter inch or eighth inch thickness. This actually starts from a somewhat thicker glass and it's polished with a diamond wheel, finer and finer down to the atomic level. And then finally, once you have a finished disc, you coat it with the exact same aluminum, enhanced aluminum coating as a quarter inch thickness front surface mirror. This, unlike the other mirror, it's got a different laminate. Because of the manufacturing process, you can't put the blue netto on, you put something called a Pre-Coat 33 from Universal Photonics, and that keeps it nice and protected as well. If you have any trouble removing this, simply apply a little piece of tape to the corner and then peel the tape back. That way you don't have to like dig with your nail at the mirror surface, because on the quarter wave, it is a little bit more sensitive to scratches, and so you want to handle this with care. Another option for a front surface mirror is on acrylic. Acrylic, by its very nature, also known as plastic, is much more wavy. It kind of deforms a bit under its own weight. Plus it has, at the microscopic level, a lot of peaks and valleys, which you can almost kind of see with the naked eye on the glass, if you're angling it just so, you'll see tiny little ripples. Well, oftentimes this won't matter for certain types of projects where you don't need an optical grade mirror, you just need a front surface mirror. But where this really shines is for situations where you need it to be highly durable, such as uh, signage, like for a kiosk, a sunglasses kiosk, people might be like touching the surface or like bumping into it. 
but you still want the very best quality because the sunglasses look better in a front surface mirror than a regular mirror. Or the optometrist, you want to be able to take in your contacts and take them back out easily. A front surface mirror helps with that, but you're having it sit on a, a desk where someone can bump into it, so you want it to be highly impact resistant. There's a better option than the acrylic, which is actually our chemical strengthened first surface mirror. The way that this glass is manufactured, they take a flat piece, typically about 32 by 50 in size, and they submerse it in a vat of special chemicals. What these chemicals do is they harden the glass. It can be up to 10 times stronger than regular glass. But it actually has an optical grade coating on the surface, unlike the acrylic. So it can be used in such things as barcode scanners where the equipment may need to be shipped off at the end of the manufacturing process and you need it to be durable. When it gets there, you need it to be unbroken. So chemically strengthened glass is perfect for optical applications where you still need that strength. Well, that wraps things up. Leave a comment below if you have any questions. If you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and hit that alarm bell.